Would you please give a warm welcome to sword swallowing specialist Tom Selectomy? We got something on the sword swallowing thing. It's kind of overrated, you're right, I agree. Another thing I know is, come you guys are non believers. It's sword swallowing, I'm sorry. It's... <laughs> All of a sudden, we had a religious discussion with the sword swallower. My God, where is views interesting? So, somebody over there thinks it's fake? You do? What do you think they pulled up? Yeah. Fake throat? <laughs> no. You know, I was doing a show at the Renaissance Festival down in Phoenix one time, and there was this little kid sitting towards the vet. And uh, when I asked him, I thought it was fake. His hand just shot up. He was like 10 or 11. You know, he was being real snotty. If you can imagine that of a 10 or 11 year old. But anyway, so when he gets, shoots his hand up, I said, What do you think they pulled up? He said, No. I said, Fake throat? He said, No. Well, then what do you think? He said, I don't think a shark. Well, they're not sharp. You can't swallow a sharp sword more than once, you know. And he, he, he thought about it for just a second, and then he shot right back at me as snotty as he could. He said, well, then you should call it metal stick swallowing. <laughs> like, who the hell's going to watch that? I start out with this, because this is about the most disgusting part of the show. This ought to clear out of the weak stomachs, and the rest of us can have a good time. <laughs> Don't worry, this is only a drill. <laughs> I was kind of hoping that would be your sense of humor. <laughs> There's even some stuff on there from when I rehearsed it. It's not that kind of 
the show. <laughs> then there was this Nick and Sword song. <laughs> so nobody in my world speaks in that voice. Here we go. Well, I lost him. I tried to make him think. <laughs>